bait trailing it, that's when it's a good bite. I think I got a fish hooked. It's kind of interesting because they're more like a swarm of bees than about, you know, people think of halibut as being flatfish and just cruising along real slow on the bottom and looking for something to eat. No, we've shown time and time again these fish are up in the water column, but it's a constant reminder that halibut are not what you think. They're not sedentary fish that lay on the bottom unless they want to. That would be bright. I think that ought to get their attention. The boat got lit up, the big fish moved in, we had a bunch of bait underneath the boat. There's no doubt that's gonna light the boat up. And we honestly had no idea what was gonna happen and what was going to transpire once we put those lights down. Beautiful. Got it. And so we just started taking turns on the rods with the big fish. This is a big fish, too. Good. Good. That's just ridiculous. There's hell laying all over the deck. Uh, we, I think we might need one more because we really hadn't. I mean, these are big, big fish, but we want a giant fish. Oh, Jesus. Could be anything. It's a wild one. Dude's got a lot of speed. Got a lot of speed. It was a great fighter. It scared the heck out of me when that fish came up about 20 yards behind the boat. Big head shakes. <clears throat> wow, he's still running. He's so wild. Real wild. There's the Albright. Oh, baby. Wow. That's a big one. The real big one. <sighs> I thought he was going to come off at that point. But uh, you know, we hung in there and got the fish next to the boat. He's done. That's a monster. And when you get into that big halibut bite, to do it the way we did it and to get lucky enough to do that kind of deal at night uh, and have it work, it was just an amazing thing and, and an amazing big water adventure. We ended up with Tim's 206 that we closed the show on. It was the last fish that we caught. All right, we're going to end it here on the night shift with a 200 pound plus halibut. Tim Bird showing it how it's done on his own boat, the Tia Rose. Just to put things in perspective, it took, let's see, four grown men to get that fish up off the deck and get it in our laps. We're gonna end it right here, brother. Can't get any better than this. Can't get any better. Thank you, Captain Chris.